good evening today i will show you how to bind a grid view control that is available in uh, web grid in esp.net mvc it's similar to grid view so thanks to microsoft which provides web grid in esp.net mvc so uh, same as previous tutorial create a new project uh, if you show my previous tutorial you can see a model class to use bind database a model class provides that field which is available in database table also we have a data context class through which we can communicate with the database table so all the process available in adu.net entity data model so first of all add a new entity data model in your solution project so add a new item in the data tab select the data tab and select edu.net entity data model in that model select ef designer also select a new connections if your connection is not appear in your drop down list so write the server name which is uh, provided by the sql server so uh, after some times that's change automatically so that is fine banking system is a name of database connection string uh, retrieving database information please wait that is message so select a table uh, from given tables I select a user account also select another table that is employee so you can select multiple table from given tables okay now finish it uh, in this tutorial I will bind a simple web grid and that grid having with paging and shorting in the later video tutorial I will show you how to set individual columns for shortings and how to disable pagings also get the selected item from the web grid so here we have two model class in the edmx files that is employee and the user account also we have a new context class in a model so add first of all a new controller that is Jacob controller suppose you add a home controller that is already available so please select no do you want to replace it no and create a new uh, controller that is Jacob the name of the controller is Jacob and so that is the context class banking system entities so create a new object for banking system entities class uh, banking system entities that is data context class so DC have a name to the banking system entities class 
and get the item by using public properties of the data context so if you want to open that file then you find a user accounts a public property in it so get the list and so we have a class user accounts and that types of fields available in it so pass that build that project oops a written view a list of items okay now build your project before adding views to the folder your name is index templates is empty and a model class is user account so available on letter u so that is the last specifications user account and the data context class is also banking system entities so add it uh, it's a simple things to bind a grid view control in asp.net mvc so here we have a simple class that is user account or you can say the whole class access by using single object if you want to access for multiple or you can say list of type objects make that class enumerable i enumerable so first to add i enumerable with the grid view mvc dot user account and in the declaration section you can add a object of the web grid in the web grid uh, constructor you can pass a object of that class so add a web grid class make a object of the web grid class and pass that model a model okay that getting error because add a i enumerable property with the grid view mvc dot user account because that is a sim simple single user and make i enumerable for list of type so new web user web grid model and simple call web grid by using get HTML method If you use at the rate model that is not right so please remove it and call that web grid by using simple grid dot get HTML okay that method save this and check to test test it so
so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net mvc thank you again and subscribe my channel if you want to learn many more things about mvc asp.net mvc i will provide you a better video tutorials from others channel So thank you, thank you very much again.